TB Nation is now sponsoring the nation's leading online tournament series for bass fishing. We have tournament trails popping up all over the country and are currently looking for directors to lead new trails. Check us out, tbnationhp.com. Jones from Brigade John Boats, and he's got some treats for us. Here they are. So Spirit 1.0 Plus. Guys, this is a three horsepower equivalent, electric outboard, portable, reliable, user-friendly, clean, fast charging, all of the above. We use them in Georgia in electric only reservoirs. Love this motor, it's a really solid unit. We're gonna stick it on Mike's 12 foot John Yak. So this is the travel case. And what I love about this is for me personally, having a John boat that I stick my 12 foot Porta John, sticking it in the bed of the truck. I could grab this outboard, throw it in the back seat and not worry about toting an expensive outboard around or getting it damaged. Yeah, it's just like throwing a troll motor in the back. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta worry about oil or gas leaking on your seat. And what comes with that, you don't have to worry about gummed up carbs that won't start you in the You guys can see how light this unit is. With the shaft and the battery, it's under 50 pounds total. Little shake of heavy. It's light. It's light, boys. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. You're not even the battery on it, huh? Nope. Battery has its own backpack. Battery's got its own backpack, guys. So again, you can launch your boat, go to your truck, throw the battery on your back, grab the shaft, walk it down, however you want to do. The battery unit. Now, the cool thing about this battery is this battery actually floats. So should you get to the boat ramp and somehow drop it in the water in the event of a catastrophe, this battery will float in the water, which is really, really cool. And then also this is lithium. So um, you're gonna get a lot of charge cycles, uh, the reliability, and then um, the, the charge time. Lift up. Up. That was fast. That just goes right in, huh? So this, yep. So this is your charging port. Full charge. What's that? This is the plug. So what this is going to do is we're going to plug the actual uh, shaft and tiller unit into the battery. Now, what I like about this unit as opposed to other electric outboards from other manufacturers, you can hear that. This is all actually aluminum. Ah. So it's not plastic. So you don't have to worry about trying to get this plugged in together and breaking something plugs right in there you go so now we're going to turn the unit on guys power now this is your safety oh it's on it's on it's on without that's awesome and, and without, without can, water earplugs and you, can, you that cannot stuff. hear it yeah no i can't hear it crap i remember when i when i gopro it over over when we did the Georgia trip for Elko, like, and we had that go that GoPro under the water, I couldn't hear nothing. Even when you cranked it up, then you started to hear a whining. But at the at the end of the trolling, that's probably the quietest thing ever. That's quieter than the actual trolling motor. Yeah, it's super quiet. We have trolling motors all over, and that is quieter than the trolling and, motor. And the difference between you can't hear nothing. The difference between an actual electric outboard like this or the one that I have on my boat and a trolling motor, a lot of guys just say because it's electric it's a trolling motor regardless no well this this unit here and that unit there they're actually designed to propel a boat a trolling motor is designed to troll this is mm -hmm. designed to be the main source of propulsion for yeah. your boat and all of, all of the the direct drive the maintenance and actually the torque that these units provide over a trolling motor is a lot of difference this cable here um, as you can see, the unit's running, and um, this has a lanyard you could attach to your life jacket or you know oh, to your body. Okay. And so, if something in the event of something happening, this comes off, 
it'll uh, it kills the motor. Yep, yep, dead as dirt. Just don't leave it at home. And that's why I got it wrapped around the tiller handle so I don't lose it. They give you two with the unit so you've got a backup. But that's pretty much it, man. Super plug and play. You've got your diagnostics on your tiller that give you real time run time, distance mm -hmm. travel, and um, everything you need to know while you're out on the water. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. This is an awesome motor. He's he's just this is his newest one, and he also has the Spirit 3.0. He's got lots and lots of review videos, the best review videos on YouTube for the Spirit 3.0 yep. and everything that comes with that. Yep. This is the Navy 3.0. It's a six horsepower. Oh, the Navy 3.0. Yep. Sorry. Navy 3.0. Not a the Spirit. Six horsepower. It runs on a 48 volt battery pack. Um, they've actually got a Navy Evo now that runs on two of these battery packs, is optional or a single battery pack. It's a 9.9 .9 equivalent. Ah. So you nice. got your six, you got your 9.9, or you've got your three horsepower. And for for your bang for your buck, this is your best bet if you're doing electric only waters or just trying to um, get around the lake and, and want an alternative that's better than your standard trolling motor. Very good. Sweet, dude. Thank you. Yep. Awesome. It's pretty much a no-brainer. These things are really impressive when you see them up front. It's just one thing else to see them and actually hold them and see their size, actually put that thing on my boat. I had to give back to Anthony, I was a little bitter about that, but I definitely will be getting one for the John Yak, just for the simplicity of ease. No maintenance, no oil changes, no having to worry about the impeller blowing out, no leaking gas or oil when you shove that thing in the back of your truck, which I'm, that's where it's gonna go. I mean, it's like, it's a really big investment. I don't want it just laying in the, in the truck bed. And I really don't want it just laying on my boat. It comes in two packages. It's really quite, quite impressive. I mean, at least for the small outboards. We did talk about on this channel a lot about how the bigger outboards, though obviously they're getting better, you looked at that with the Navy 3.0, and then they're supposed to be releasing other ones that are really super competitive, but I think right now e-propulsion is dominating the electric outboard market. I think Elko had a slight lead there with the higher horsepower outboards, but they're smaller, more affordable, and more practical outboards still are just not, not very comparable to what e-propulsion has. So I'm very, very interested to see what happens in the upcoming year when they're supposed to be releasing new products. Anthony will be on that. Check out his channel at brigadeboats.com or Anthony Jones. It's one of those. I mean, just if you search it, he'll come right up. So uh, we did want to review that on the John Yak to see how it would do, but we just ran out of time. Time flew, off went the sun, but we will be getting on to it. We will be getting one eventually. I don't know when they're like, on, they're so popular. They're on back order. We, we sell these on our sites. We're going to be selling some other stuff, hopefully some actual gas outboards too, possibly carrying Tahatsu. And we hope just to get bigger and bigger. It's a little harder to grow as just an online drop shipping platform, but we now have like a physical shop or a physical place. It's in Illinois, by the way. We'll be doing videos. You've seen videos through, if you follow the Tin Can Crew, if you follow any of those guys, they've at least at one point in time dropped a video on Nate's shop, not to include entire series. But we, uh, we have these, you guys want to check them out? Check them out on tvnation.net. We'll leave the link in the description below. You guys have a nice day.